Hello friends, here I present green thai curry paste for making green thai curry instantly. I have included in this video all details as much as possible. This curry paste is made from scratch. It's very useful for preparing green thai curry instantly, especially for quick meals. I have also included green thai curry detailed video made from this paste on my YouTube channel. So friends, let's begin with the recipe. These are all the ingredients we need today for green thai curry paste. Please do watch the ingredients part in this video very carefully as that's the main part of this video. Rest is just mixing of all the ingredients. So for this curry, we need half tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of cumin powder. I have taken grounded cumin. You can also use fresh cumin seeds. Take it one tablespoon and then add it to the blender once we are blending the paste. We need half medium sized lemon. Now there are certain ingredients which we specifically need for this recipe. One of them is galangal. It looks like ginger but both are different. I will explain the differences a little later so keep watching the video. Next is Thai green chilies for this curry. I have taken 7 medium Thai chilies. Next we use is shallots. 2 medium sized shallots. They look very much like onions but they are different than onions. I will cover the differences a little later. Next is kafir or lime leaves. We need half cup of chopped leaves. I have taken 10 to 15 such leaves for this recipe. Next is one cup of cilantro or coriander stems roughly chopped. Next ingredient is one cup fresh Thai basil. Then comes this long green sticks. Those are called lemongrass. These sticks are pretty hard from the outer side. Only the delicate part from inside is used. Rest is discarded. We need half cup of olive oil or regular cooking oil. Few fresh garlic pods. I have taken 9 to 10 medium sized pods. Salt as per taste. Now let's dig into the details of few special ingredients which we have included. We start with fresh Thai basil. Normal basil are usually more peppery versus fresh Thai basil are very sweet and has anise quality. You will get a strong aroma when you open this packet. You will find this only at Asian markets. Next is kafir leaves. They are also called as makroot or lime leaves. You will get strong lemon kind of a smell when you open this packet. Here we need both kafi leaves and half lime as well. And if you don't find this in Asian markets, you can use whole lime instead of half lime for this recipe. Next ingredient we go to is galangal. Now this is ginger and this is galangal. Again, if you can't find galangal, alternatively you can use ginger, but I will definitely prefer to have galangal because of the spicier taste. Next are shallots. Here we are using shallots, not onions. Onions have more heat and shallots are comparatively more sweeter. Now we start with blending of ingredients. We'll start by this recipe by chopping lemongrass. Remove hard part of the stick. Almost half part below gets removed. Remove the top part. You can actually hear the noises, how hard it is. Peel the lemon grass. The outer skin is very dusty, so remove it completely. Till you reach to the softer part inside, you can easily bend it. So keep peeling it. I'll repeat the process for all the sticks. Meanwhile, I also wanted to say that you can always use alternate ingredients for this recipe which I have suggested like instead of shallots you can use onions, instead of galangal you can use ginger, instead of Thai basil you can use normal basil. But I would definitely prefer these specific ingredients only if you want to have authentic green Thai curry paste. And this is kind of just one time and you can enjoy curry for like 2-3 months. Just store the paste in the freezer. So these are final lemongrass sticks which we'll be using in our curry. Rest is discarded. They are of different shape and sizes. Next we chop the sticks into small parts for easy blending. Our lemongrass is ready for blending. Next we take this galangal. I'm cutting it into half for easy peeling. 
we need approximately 1 tablespoon of shredded galangal alternatively you can also use ginger to shred it peel the skin off first from galangal believe me guys it's worth the effort for making this curry paste it tastes really good now i will shred galangal with help of fine grater chopping and grating of ingredients is very important as we don't want to have any big pieces or any chunks little small pieces are fine as we are going to blend it very well next we chop is kaffee or lime leaves they also look like spinach like kind of a baby spinach but they are pretty hard chop it as finely as possible and remove the end part discard them those are little bit more harder to consume we need approximately half cup of roughly chopped lime leaves this chopping and shredding is very important as we want to make a smooth paste we need kind of a sauce consistency if possible or a very fine curry paste goal is that chunks and pieces should not come in our mouth when we are making the curry so i have taken fresh thai basil and lime leaves both half cup equal quantities for shallots we just peel it and chop it roughly as it's easy to blend all right shallots are done now let's start blending them for blending i will use some oil as well as some water start putting all the ingredients inside the blender one by one i'm chopping garlic pods into half for easy blending i just love the aroma of green thai basil it's really nice and flavorful i'm cutting green chilies also into half for easy blending then come all the spices coriander powder cumin powder salt salt can be varied as per taste but do add salt as it helps for preserving the curry next is lime juice i'm squeezing half lime we need 2 tablespoon of lime juice lemon or lime whatever is available you can use then comes half cup oil you can use olive oil or normal cooking oil whatever is available and we now blend it to smooth paste I have used half cup of water for blending. Use as little water as possible since we are storing it for long time and our smooth curry blend is ready. Storing it in bottles, you can also form ice cubes by freezing it in ice tray and use it as per needed. I have also included my green thai curry video made from this curry paste. it's on my channel do try this recipe and let me know your comments thank you